Good afternoon. This is Melissa Thomas with FNN News TV. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is a bit unorthodox. Um, this is not FNN Politics and Power or our FNN Good News and Reviews. This one is a special bit of coverage that we're doing. As you can see, there's a gentleman behind me here that is Roman Oben, who is the Vice President of Football Development for the NFL. And we're going to be talking to him today. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in Mr. Roman. Roman, how's it going? Hey, Melissa, how you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Thanks so much for taking the time. I know you, you've got a hectic schedule uh, coming up here. Um, obviously, the Play Football Family Festival is coming up on Saturday, so you'll be heading out to Arizona for that. But kind of, you know, this is something that is near and dear to your heart, developing youth in football, kind of working with youth. Talk about the why behind that, the motivation, and how that experience has been for you over these last few years. Yeah, it's been a great experience, and I think the the one one thing that started as a just using the NFL league calendar when you talk about Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, Combine, Draft, those sort of things of the NFL league calendar. Um, Super Bowl is always special because it's in a different city every year, um, and you get an opportunity to bring the downtown you know circus, if you will, to the community. So mm -hmm. Hamilton High School um, in Chandler, Arizona, you know, will celebrate coaches, players, family. It's a family friendly event. It's free. And so, again, it's, it's all about community engagement. And so I think the why behind it is everyone's at a different place in terms of their appetite, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of whether they're, they, they want to play football, they're thinking about playing, they, they want to do Q&A with current players, you know, how's the game changed, they evolve, you've got moms that always have questions. And then obviously the kids that, that, that want to get the free prizes and T-shirts and stuff like that. So it's always great to use this platform to help engage uh, not only the participants, the young athletes themselves, but the parents, stakeholders, the coaches. And then you have a lot of former players like myself who have kids that are playing and they have to relearn the game a little bit themselves um, versus, you know, beyond the game that they played, you know, 20 years ago or so. Absolutely. And given your level of experience, obviously you were, you know, a pro NFL player. And from the photos, I, I did some research. And from the photos I saw, you were with the Buccaneers when they actually won the championship. You were holding the little the Lombardi Trophy, but kind of talk about how you relay your experience in the NFL with the work that you do with the youth. Well, it's 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 definitely a strategic role, and and the work that we don't we don't work directly with the youth, but we impact uh, through mm -hmm. strategic initiatives. So, I think when you look at the discussion about football participation and where it's gone the last ten years, whether it's been, you know, some of the concussion discussions or some of the things about whether it's flag versus tackle or when should my kid play football. I think we have a, you know, really a moral responsibility to educate all, everyone equally and talk about why this game is the greatest. It's, it's definitely a great, greatest engagement tool than any other sport, but we also believe it's the greatest sport in the world because of the teamwork and the, and the reliance and the dependence that you have on others around you. And it's not like, you know, basketball, you could, LeBron can score 40 points and you're probably going to win that game, but in, in football, it's a little different, but I think the character building and all those things. So all the lessons, um, within the game itself, I think are even more important uh, than just participating in the game. Absolutely. So guys, we're gonna take a very, very <laughs> brief commercial break. We'll be right back. We're gonna wrap things up with Mr. Robin Oben before he flies out to Arizona for the big play football festival this weekend. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome to Parts Pass. I'm Stan and I'm the founder. We created Parts Pass for anyone and everyone who owns a vehicle. It's free to use and free to download. Take a picture of your car. Our AI system will help decode it. Enter a part that you might need, submit an order, and have it shipped the next day. We would love for you to join our community. For do-it-yourselfers, car enthusiasts, and just anyone that owns a vehicle. Subscribe now, and we'll see you later. All right, guys, welcome back to this special uh, Super Bowl of 57 coverage here. We are back with Roman Oben, who is, you know, talking about play football, um, the strategic work that play football has been doing to impact communities across the country. Um, as we wrap up here, Roman, kind of talk about, you know, like what is like some of the most meaningful, you know, things for you as it relates to the strategic work that you guys do. Um, like, what's that greatest impact for you personally? The, the, the greatest impact for me is to give people the opportunity to have experiences that they've never had before. So when you talk about opening night, uh, when the two teams, the Chiefs and the Eagles arrived uh, in, in Phoenix, uh, you had 
you know, middle school kids on the side with the play football shirts, high fiving the players as they came up. We've as they came up the stage, we've had um, you know high school kids wearing their jerseys, you know, volunteering and, and being a part of the draft, being on stage when they're making draft announcements. I mean, those are memories that will last a lifetime, uh, as we know that not every player is going to end up playing on Sundays. Uh, but right. I, I think if you if you at least take the values and the experience of it all, then you can become more successful in life, whether or not you end up playing on an NFL roster or winning a Super Bowl like, like I did uh, 20 years ago. Awesome. And then, you know, I just want to open up the floor to you if there's anything that you want to share with our audience that we haven't already discussed. No, I, I just think I, I'm always appreciative. And, and, and you know, we met a few years ago and I was always appreciative to talk to you. And I love the work that you're doing, the FNN platform. Thank you. Um, and just the ability to, to get news and information to people in, in just non-traditional ways. And, and so I, I really appreciate you having me uh, on this segment. All right. And again, we appreciate you for being available. We know you've got quite the busy schedule and ladies and gentlemen, continue to follow us. If you, if you aren't already, our team is on the ground in Arizona, providing the special coverage of uh, Super Bowl week. So be sure to follow us everywhere you find us, uh, FNN News TV and Florida National News on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Roman, thank you so much for your time. Have a safe flight. Uh, hopefully our team gets to see you out there in Arizona. And ladies and gentlemen, check our, our website and uh, the NFL One Pass app for all of the details concerning the NFL Play Football Fe Family Festival that's happening on Saturday. And Roman, I'm guessing you're going to be there at the festival on Saturday? I will absolutely be there on Saturday. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. Absolutely. That does it for us, guys. And my coverage will continue as needed. You guys will see me pop up speaking with some folks as they're available. But in the meantime, continue to stay tuned to our special coverage as our team on the ground continues with that. Our reporters, Todd Grizzly and Mike Brodsky continue to do their interviews and press conference coverage. And of course, our behind the scenes guy, Willie David, and of course, myself on the ground in Orlando, helping the guys out on the ground in Arizona. But thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your Thursday and you take care.